Hey there! In this lesson, we will be representing and understanding data using Venn diagrams. I know what you're thinking. That's a lot of big words. But don't worry, this topic is very simple and also very useful. To see how this works, let's take a look at our friend Ivan's birthday. Ivan's mom bought him a lot of red colored gifts and some fruits as birthday presents, knowing that his favorite color is red and that he loves fruits. Since Ivan appreciated this so much, he wanted to journal about it. Ivan decides to use a Venn diagram to sort the gifts in his journal. Let's see how he does it. He drew a circle to represent all the red gifts and another circle to represent all the fruits. Hmm, but he remembered that some of the fruits are also red. So he made sure that the two circles have an overlapping part. Then he started grouping the items inside the circles. Red gifts go inside the first circle, fruits go inside the second circle, and the red gifts that are also fruits, such as this apple and this strawberry, go into the overlapping part of the circles. What we see right now is called a Venn diagram. The items inside the circles, or Ivan's presents from his mom, are the data. In other words, data is any item or object that we want to list down or record. Wasn't that fun and easy? Let's move on to the second part of Venn diagrams. Aside from being a way to list down data, we can also use Venn diagrams to interpret or understand the data. Let's look back at Ivan's Venn diagram. Between the red gifts and the fruits, how do we find out what type of items his mom bought more of? Let's count how many presents are red by counting the items inside the circle for red gifts. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six red gifts. Note that we had to count the apple and strawberry as well, since they're also red. Next, let's count the fruits. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. His mom bought eight fruits. If we think about it, of course his mom would buy more fruits so that Ivan can eat healthy. That's it for this lesson on representing and understanding data using Venn diagrams. See you next time.